Oh, this one should be different. And if you read the uh, video title, you know it's coming out of the box. Lost a tussle for one over the summer. It came up essentially as a, as a, a purchase in a site and a bit. Got exactly what I was hoping for. So. Mark's Toys. Pretty sure that's the way it should look on the bottom. American Beauties is the series, 1950s, and she is doing up her. I'm going to say it's a brassiere. All right, it's a bikini. Let me see the ties on the side. Um, yeah. And I had made a, a, a decision early on that females were going to be an important part of this fictional space art universe I'm crafting. And she's just the latest acquisition. Here am I, uh, my gals, as I call them. All sorts of uh, interesting things in here. Uh, Space Barbie. Those are from uh, China. Little three-inch Barbie dolls. There's Princess Ardala from the HG Toys. Uh, Buck Rogers in the 25th Century uh, collection. There's uh, Timmy. Next to her, there's another Timmy in there. There's another Timmy female. There's the uh, Ajax female with the uh, broken arm that came with the mother load lot. That's a uh, shadow box Nordic style alien. Uh, reclining sunbathing female from a cake topper uh, set or whatever. Uh, there's a little Starlux French made uh, figure and I think these the her the purple one and the yellow ones sort of go together they were I believe cereal premiums again from uh, France not sure which company uh, made them this is a little uh, lead cast indie figure uh, female definitely and then uh, Britain's Star Guard, female alien pilot, surrounded by what I, it, it, I, I didn't realize it until I was looking at the Star Guard catalog, or at a Britain's catalog, that these are females too. Female alien, um, you can see the uh, <coughs> chest units there. And so I've got three of these female aliens, and to demonstrate the difference there's a male alien next to the female alien and she definitely has a more voluptuous figure I'm not sure about the head um, and next to next to them are the females I identified from the uh, batch of goonie aliens that also came on the mother load lot my favorite is that sort of olive colored one at the front um, four of them are in similar poses she's got big ears doesn't she and uh, we finally had sort of a semi verdict on what these things are we're thinking they're from someplace like Thailand or Singapore uh, a country not known for the toy exports and were made locally for uh, domestic consumption over here here's another uh, star guard figure that I guess is female. Um, I'm not sure. I thought that was a guy's head. Not sure what's going on with that. And again, here's a male uh, Britain's Star Guard in yellow, a uh, human. And you, again, you can see that she's got the voluptuous uh, figure there of a, of a female. 
And I had also gotten out some uh, of my marks, guys. We want to make sure that this gal can get a date amongst the dudes we have here on, on, on hand. we got to find one that's maybe just a hair taller than her. And sure enough, the Swappets dude is about the right size. I believe there's a Operation Moon based dude in his little suit. And he's... He's a little bit short, as is the, uh, I think this is a NASA test flight center figure, or atomic testing center figure, and he's way too short for her. Uh, here's the orange Marks astronaut. He's supposed to be, they're both supposed to be, to be uh, 60 millimeter. And again, he's he's more like a 54 millimeter. And right now, size matters, doesn't it? And of course, he doesn't. The ambassador there isn't going to do too well. I've decided that this is the interstellar villain of my fictional space toy universe, and he's known only as the ambassador. Uh, there's some other. There's another Marx guy. Some sort of. Abe Lincoln, Davy Crockett cross, and maybe that's her father. He can escort her to the uh, astronaut's ball, where she can adjust her bikini top. And then in the back there, I've got whoa, dude, got some uh, MPC dudes. Nah, that's not that's not a good match. And here's an MPC ring hander. Yeah, that, 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 that sort of works. He's he's crouching a bit. He'd be a, he'd be a little bit taller, but I think the best fit um, is the swap it dude, and that's a couple made in heaven. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, so it's important to have girls, at least as far as I'm concerned. And you need to have girls to have some fun. Especially out in space. What what fun is it going to be going out into space to have adventures without some chicks along? I don't know if we're going to be bringing Barbie in her swimsuit there with us, but... Well, I guess we will. Because here's another one there. And we'll just keep... There's, a, there's, there, there, there's some female space figures from Germany. Uh, or a, a series set from Germany that has some females in it that are very interested in landing as well. Because, dude, you gotta have chicks. You gotta have chicks. Yeah, he's one happy camper right now. He's gonna get to take her out for a sonic drive-in. Well, that'll be fun. We'll let Bez do the drive-in.